so good. Guys, I got good news. Uh, the good news is we're all caught up. The other good news is all the yards that we've done look great. They look great. Great. do a really good job maintaining this property uh, Rocky's getting pretty damn good at mowing his lines are perfect these are his lines good job Rocky it's payday so guys are working extra hard today they want that bonus Nah, but we busted ass all week. Uh, we had some unexpected expenses come up earlier this week with uh, our babies getting parvo and whatnot. Um, but Ellie ate for the first time today in about five days. Uh, she took a couple bites of her um, chicken and Bear is on his way home with Mama right now. As in mama, I mean Lex. Lex is, uh, she just picked him up and she's heading back to the house with him now. I'm really happy that he's home and that Ellie's getting better, guys. Thank you for all the prayers that you guys have said for our family and our babies. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but dogs are our family in this family. And uh, I, I wouldn't have cared if it was $10,000. Uh, I was going to pay whatever it took to get them better. And, uh, yeah, we've just had a lot of great and amazing support from our mom and dad and from just everybody that watches our videos. I just wanted to say thank you guys and thanks for uh, keeping us in your prayers. Uh, Ellie is going to pull through. She still has a little bit of diarrhea, but that's to be expected with the Parvo. The doctor said that she looks about a hundred thousand times better than the first day we brought her in she was literally this close to dying this close and that's all because uh, about a, about on Monday or Tuesday this week no I think it was I think it was Monday we took them to bailiff veterinarian clinic here in Tuttle and uh, we left them there for about an hour and they called us and said your dogs are ready to be picked up and mind you, I, we took them there because they hadn't eaten in two days and we knew something was wrong. Well, he tells us, come get your dogs, they're fine. We get up there, 
the dogs still look terrible um, and he says they're fine he gives us an $872 ticket well next day goes by we call them and say nothing has gotten any better they're not drinking water and they're not eating oh they're fine they're fine we knew they weren't fine Ellie couldn't even stand up I had to carry her to my truck and if you know that girl you know she's a she's a car baby or a truck baby she's she's used to being in my truck all the time she loves truck rides that's her favorite thing in the world and she wouldn't she wasn't up for it so uh, we knew something was wrong whenever she wouldn't even carry herself to my truck that day so um, we took mom and Lex took them to the emergency hospital on I-240 and in order for them to get, even get, start the treatment on them it was fifty six hundred dollars and uh, yeah they made us pay it up front to get the treatment so but I wouldn't have had it any other way so all you people out there who are saying no dog is worth fifty five hundred dollars or no dogs worth eight thousand ten thousand dollars i don't give a, f a flying shit what you got to say because your opinion doesn't matter to me you hear me my dogs are worth however much money i feel like spending on them and it's none of your damn business but now you guys know how much i spent on them and i would do it all over again it just you know it's, it's just disrespectful when people tell you that your babies aren't worth a certain amount of money. It makes you say, hmm, what are your kids worth? You know, what are your kids worth? Your kids aren't worth a damn to me either, you know? But it is what it is. Some people are just shitty, but hey, who am I to, who am I to talk? But yeah, there's there's been a, a couple people tell us no dog is worth eight thousand dollars but like I said their opinions don't matter the money's already been well spent on getting them better I'm glad I did it thanks mom and dad for all the support and for teaching me how to be financially independent I really do appreciate it don't know what I would have done without you guys Stay tuned for more Acme Moan and Lawn Care. The next video shouldn't be so soppy and sad, but just wanted to give you guys the update and tell you guys how things are going. We're all caught up this week. I had a lot of lawns to do because Lex was up at the hospital all day, or all day, each day this week with the babies. So stay tuned, guys. More content coming. We're gonna get some mowing footage to you here soon. I'm gonna get Rocky on the vertex at the next yard. So, peace. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Later, guys. <clears throat> so, about a month ago, uh, about a month ago, one of our customers, one of our favorite customers, um, had this. You see that uh, underground storm cellar? Well, they had that put in about a month ago and the contractor left a big pile of dirt right there in the front yard. I don't know if you guys remember this, but uh, I flattened this out and we loaded up all the dirt that was right there and uh, we filled in the this side of the driveway over here, this used to be a nasty, nasty drop off. This was a, yep, yep. So I heard Joe ask, is there anything out back that needs to be blown off? Sure is, buddy. So we filled this in right, right here because it was a nasty drop off. And uh, that's how they were able to move their, their, other, their old camper over to the side of the house boy but we did a good job i'm showing them that job i did a couple months back what did you do here this used to be a drop off oh 
Oh, really? It's like a, a big drop off. There used to be a ditch right there. I'm wondering why there was so much dirt there. And it's it's nice and level. Now, like it used to, you couldn't back a camper up through there because it would have tipped over. Yeah. Because of how off level it was. And a contractor left a big pile of dirt in their front yard and they were supposed to come back and get it. They never came back and got it. So while I had that excavator rented, we used it to get all that dirt up and we moved some of it right there. And the rest of it is back here on the other side of the house, which I'm about to show you guys. It's actually held up really nice. I didn't think it was gonna stay like as steady, you know? But it actually packed in real nice. And it leveled out. Used to. Used to there was a, a big ditch right here too. A big old hole right there, right in the middle. You couldn't and, and right there at the top. You couldn't even you couldn't even take a mower and go through right here. So I flattened all this out. I did all that with the excavator. I had a fun time doing that. Those machines are fun as hell to run, but man, that one that one that I rented, it had an air conditioner in it, but the air conditioner was broke. So I was stuck in a hot ass cab, working in the hot ass heat with the broken ass air conditioner. Damn air conditioner. Hang on guys, here's Rocky. What's poppin' YouTube? This is JT. What's up, babe? He had to make a phone call. And this is me, I'm Rocky. I'm sure y'all know me already. This is our trailer. Acne my way. This is Joe. What's up, YouTube? What you gotta say to YouTube? How's today been so far? All right, peace out, YouTube. We're gonna take a little break. <coughs> going in the next yard. <coughs> what you gotta say to that? We're about to leave Joe, Jackass Joe. Let's go. Leave his yeah, ass. Get him. It's a scorcher today, baby. Look at that. My truck says 107. One oh mother fucking seven, dude. That ain't nothing. All you wussies that are quitting out there and leaving your clients, uh, looking for guys like me that are still out there, thank you. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Getting more calls than ever now that it's 107 degrees outside and all you pussies are giving up. Yep, I'll take that money. Sure will. Peace. Well, this is one of the the budgeted yards. We do this one for $50. It's nothing but mowing. Literally like minimal trimming. 